Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are y'all doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box on the bottom <laughs> and also check out the eye on the top left or the top right. I think it is. I'm, I'm messing all this up. And also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. But here we are. Hope you're all doing great as well from this Corona stuff. Just stay safe. Hopefully you're all staying safe and clean. Uh, in this video, what we're going to do is finalize this game. Make sure we end it and that the player takes some damage also have a game over screen once you're dead and those things will do and the next game is going to be a little more complex than this one hopefully uh, it's still been a long mini series in this game uh, hopefully the probably the next one will be a little longer we'll see how it pans out anyway let's go into player.cpp and just double check what we did we created set hp lose hp and we tried it out with our our uh, duty dude here in game wherever I'm updating that uh, I'm going to just remove it here we go set HP I'm removing that I'm gonna make a little update in my lose HP function I'm gonna say if this HP is less than zero this because it can't be less than zero this HP equals zero very simple very simple check to make sure it doesn't go below zero good next step make sure the player actually gets hurt by these things. Anytime an enemy collides with a player, you'll see here, this is the world collision, but this is update enemies. We'll make sure we're updating colliding with the player. Here, enemy, enemy player collision. Good. Anytime this happens, we have to make sure that this player lose HP one let's just say one you can do whatever you want here there's other things you can do different enemies can give different damage all that but we'll we'll do it like this if we have an enemy here you can add a damage oh we do have a damage sorry about that look how I look what look what I'm doing okay so that's gonna kill me pretty fast but we can do this you know what we'll do we'll do this this enemies dot at counter dot get point points and we're gonna actually get this this damage from our accessor go into enemy.h and create this function const int get damage const like that good and we have a bunch of things for enemy that we haven't used yet but this should be fine I mean you can you can do it this way if you want but we're just gonna go ahead and do this okay get damage boom because I think if we're gonna use the HP for the enemies we might as well create a HP bar for each enemy and that will be better suited in another mini mini series here but you'll understand what's going on this return this damage good and that is set in the enemy CPP file so if you go in here you'll see it right here Go back to your game.cpp and instead of get points, do get damage. Now, before we do anything, go to your player.cpp and go to the top wherever you set your HP and set that to maybe 50 or even 100. 100 is fine. 100 HP. Good. Another thing that we need to do before we finalize all this is to go to your init GUI again, go to your point text variable and set that font size to 20. Once that's set, you'll have a little larger set of points showing for you. We'll probably move it to the side a little bit. We'll see where it is. We didn't really move it before. So we'll just run it once. See, okay, points seems fine. All right, guys, I was getting a little crash and that is because I'm doing this after I'm deleting the enemy. It's very dumb. You probably saw that, but I'm not gonna do that. I can, might as well remove this counter thing as well. I don't know if it's really working since when we get up here on the next one it's still gonna know the, the enemy's size from here so we don't have to kind of update the counter except this one so we're uh we're adding it it's like eyes iterator going through but the other ones i don't think we need them we're just not going to use that i don't use this technique a lot but i'm getting better at it slowly but this should be fine now if we crash into enemies you'll see it's taking different chunks of health depending on the enemy's size the small one isn't going to take a lot the big ones take a lot more it's like bigger asteroids, bigger and bigger asteroids. 
So you won't get a crash now, hopefully. Should be good. This bullets thing as well should remove the counter there. Uh, just the counter part and you should be good. Go up, everything looks fine. Everything looks fine. Next thing is gonna be to go into game.h, go under your GUI uh, section here and add a SF text game over text. That's all you need. And we're gonna initialize this in the init GUI section in our game.cpp right here. Go ahead and put it down here. This game over text. Okay, we can do this. Just copy this whole thing, put it here. Now I'm just gonna control C this game over text, copy and put it all over here. It'll be a little, oh shit. It'll be a little easier since we don't have to redo everything. And this string is gonna be set to game over. Like that, simple as that, just game over. This will be red as well, the color is red. The character size is a lot larger. Let's say it's 60, good. We have the font set, everything is set. Now we need to set the position. And to set the position properly, I wanna see the screen's window size. It's 800, 600, but we can get that dynamically. Since you wanna center this, right? You wanna make sure you center this game over text and make sure you render it only when the game is actually over. But let's start with centering this. To do that, you wanna go ho go over to it and say set position. And now we're gonna use this cool technique to center it. We're gonna put it at the middle in the X axis. So this window dot or get size. First of all, we need to get the X size. And then we need to divide it by two since that's the center of the screen. And we're gonna do the same thing for the Y, but this isn't it, this isn't the final product here. We're just gonna do this to prepare. Y, now it's, you're thinking it's in the center, but it's not. The top left part of the text, it will be in the center. To put it really in the center, you need to negate this. You need to go minus, okay, this game over text dot get global bounds, so it's gonna be a pretty large statement here, dot width divided by two. And go ahead and put that down there and put this down here so you can see what's going on a little better. There you go. So this will put it at the center, dot F. The size is also a vector to you, but I'm gonna divide it by, an, by a float so it will become a float basically, since the position needs two floats. Anytime you divide anything in C++ with a float or anything else, like it will take that, uh, it, will, it will cast to that. So you wanna do that. And just copy this whole thing, put it on the Y coordinate and change this to height. So you see, what, you see what's happening here? Let me just paint this out. I know a lot of you know what the hell's going on, so you don't need to see this. You can, you can fast forward. But for those of you who didn't understand, let me tell you. This is the screen. And this is the red thing is my game over text. So it started here as default, zero, zero. I put it at the center of the screen here. Say that this is the center. So remember, we always put stuff. The positions of things are always counted from the top left corner. So when I put it in the center of the screen, it looks like this. The top left corner is in the center of the screen. And then I found out the width of this text and divided it by two, okay? And put that minus whatever this position is. So that will put it right there. And I did the same thing for the Y coordinate. I took the height, divided it by two, so I get that, that length right there. And I did a minus, so it should be right there in the center. That's a good way of centering things. Hopefully you understood that properly. Am I recording this? Yeah, I was sick of it then. Good. Once that's done, we want to go to our game.cpp, go to wherever we're running the game, game run. This window is open, and here we're going to do some magic. So here we're going to do, and and uh, this, let's see, we will want to render this. So the update part, if this player get HP is greater than zero, while that, we're gonna update the game. Otherwise, we're not gonna update the game, whatever, like at all. Sadly, all this 
is in the update section. So what we need to do, we need to take that out of the update section. This update poll events, we should do that outside. Good. This will just update some basic input that we need for controlling the window. Then we need to remove that from our update. So this update, let's go down to update. Make sure we do that right now before we forget. Update, remove this poll events, the whole thing. Good. You want to keep it like that. Now go back to your render. Actually go down to render now because that should, the update should be fine. Here we go. And what we want to do is we want to render game over screen. We want to render it only when the player's life is zero. If this player get HP is less or equal to zero, this window draw this game over text. Simple as that, simple as that. If you want, you can make a background as well and do the same process for the background, like it darken the screen a little bit once the game is over. All right, of course you get errors, so you wanna go up here, you wanna see, get HP. Yes, you wanna add two of those there. I make a lot of mistakes, guys. Sorry about that. So good, now we'll just go down to zero HP, however long that takes, just to prove the point that this works. And we need to move the points to the right, and then we're done with this game, guys. Pretty much done. Okay, game over. Boom. And then you can close the window, because that poll events function is outside. Otherwise, you won't be able to close it. Okay, good. Go up to your game over text. Right here. and Or, or to your point text, say this point text dot set position. Now, we're going to do a... A thing here where we're gonna do let's see let's put it to the right so that would be 800 right so let's put it at 700 and then maybe 20 25 dot F there we go 25 dot F 700 dot F let's just make sure that looks good and there we are guys and girls a small little shooter done with points game over everything so now your points are over there they'll be updating whenever you kill an enemy and that's good now my homework to you is if you want to add on to this anything what I want you to add is I want you to add some kind of a either a texture animation to these I know I haven't showed you that yet but if you want to do you know over course try to think how you do that an explosion animation to these and also when the game is over, a little background, a uh, different background whenever the game is over to render that. You can try doing that. Maybe make some kind of a, a different thing, like you get HP if another special type of enemy comes down and you kill it. You'll get some HP back. So you can try to do those things. That's a little homework to you. We'll probably make a game that does a lot more things very soon. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. You have some more things to play around with here if you want the HP and stuff. Or the, the, yeah, the HP to make sure they don't all die in one shot. If you want to do that type we had as well. We wanted to play with that. We didn't do it in this mini series, but we will in the coming ones. But thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this game. Hopefully the next game will be a side scroller. Pretty fun jumper uh, on, on platform jumper, whatever. So we'll see. But stay safe, guys and girls. Take care. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.